Andrew, welcome. Protest or not, isn't Germany simply fulfilling its duty under the European arrest warrant? Um, yeah, absolutely. In that sense, if you want to take a, a, a legalistic approach, that's all that the German police or legal authorities have done so far. Um, so it's, you know, obviously the Catalan question is a political problem. And so just using legal mechanisms has major political implications. What will the process of extradition from Germany now involve? Well, firstly, the Spanish authorities will be required to demonstrate to the German authorities that the charges they've accused Puigdemont of, which you mentioned in your report of um, sedition and rebellion, are, can be supported by evidence. So the Spanish authorities will be required to produce a large amount of documentation. But I think one of the significant things about him being arrested in Germany and that he wasn't arrested in Belgium is because the German legal code has a much closer um, definition of sedition and rebellion or challenges to the constitutional authority. It's much similar, in fact, to the Spanish constitution, whereas the Belgian constitution, the Belgian legal system, didn't have those same clauses. So it meant Puigdemont, in a sense, was safer in Belgium than he's likely to be in Germany. In a recent uh, regional election in Catalonia, uh, an anti-independence party won most seats. Um, is there still a significant appetite for Catalan independence? I think there's still that those who are supportive of Catalan independence who are close to perhaps half of the population, they got 48% of the vote. I think a more antagonized, if you want, or angrier, a more frustrated than ever before. And I think part of the protests, part of the phase of protests we're seeing this evening and we've seen on other occasions are expressions of that anger and frustration. So because there's, there's still no attempt on the part of the Spanish government or Spanish authorities to try to provide a political solution to the problem be, beyond the law. They're simply saying it's a legal problem, but it's clearly also a political problem. I think um, for those supportive of independence until now, there's no turning back. And the question is, will the independence movement grow or will it, or will it stall? And that's still pretty unclear. When you look at these uh, extraordinary pictures of so many people on the streets of Barcelona tonight, where do you think this goes? Well, I think there is potential now for, if you want, radicalization. The, the Catalan independence movement has been an incredibly peaceful movement over the past five years. The first incidents of violence were actually those of the Spanish police. But as I said, you know, a, a minute ago, there is growing anger, there is growing frustration. I think what's also significant about this evening, it's the Catalan regional police who are stopping the protesters, whereas on the 1st of October 2017, it was the Spanish police authorities. So what we're also seeing is ever greater internal divisions in Catalan society. And I think there's no immediate end to this in sight. Andrew Dowling from Cardiff University, thank you very much.